Hey guys, this is Evan with HPI Auto. Today we're going over one of the most common issues that plagues these Macans, Cayennes, Panameras, and that is the timing cover bolts on a 3.0 uh, Turbo V6. So there's a total of 33 bolts that go into the whole timing cover, and there's three different sizes. So you have these two, these are the your smallest ones, and they go to each side of the timing cover, and they're the most common that break. And so what we do is we back out the old bolt that's broken, usually it comes out in two pieces. So we get the first piece out, and then sometimes you get lucky and you use a pick to kind of back out the stud that's stuck in the timing cover. And once you get that bolt out, you wanna take this new bolt, and also they call it a spacer, but it's more just like a thick washer. And you wanna put RTV on the head and the threads of the bolt, put that spacer on there and put them back in. The next size is gonna be a very long one. These usually don't break, but we replace them anyways. Uh, we'll pull those out, put RTV once again on the threads in the head, and put them back in. These usually are in the kind of center of the uh, timing cover. And then the rest of the timing cover is all the same size bolt. And these are pretty common to break too. Not really specific like the two top ones. Kind of randomly they'll break inside there. And uh, the most commonly places in the valley of the timing cover. Once again, we'll pull the old bolts out and then put these in there with RTV. Uh, Porsche used to make you have to remove the engine. And to remove the engine on this, you want to drop the whole entire front subframe. For years now, we haven't done that. And I think Porsche now has transferred over the way we do it as well, of just replacing the bolts with the engine in the car. On the Cayennes and Panameras, it's pretty simple because there's a lot of room there. On the Macans, it's tight. Um, if you don't have small hands, small arms, it's going to be really hard without pulling the front end of the, off the car to get to the bolts. Um, but most time we can we can pretty much get it done. And you know we have a couple options here. And, you know, for our customers, either we can replace all the bolts, or we can replace just the ones that's broken, which usually like I said is just these two. We recommend doing them all. That way, it's a one-time deal and you just cover it from the future. But I know a lot of people that buy these cars is kind of a scary thing. Oh, the timing cover leaks, and then also the dampener, the belt dampener leaks as well. But the timing cover scares a lot of people away because it used to be you know, a, a five, $6,000 job and now it's much less expensive because the engine stays in, we can do this job in a day with cleaning and all that stuff done. And it's really not that big of a deal anymore. I do wanna add this quick little, this quick little fact and I see customers come in here that have like the, the 4.8 V8s and like the Panameras, the Cayennes and they have a timing cover leak and they say, well, I've already had somebody replace the bolts. Well, on those V8 cars, there's actually a gasket that goes, it's a whole gasket set, it's a bunch of little slow gaskets that go behind the timing cover. So on those cars, it's not as simple as just the bolts. It's actually like a 35 hour job to pull those timing covers off, actually replace the gaskets, and then put the new timing cover back on. They didn't have the problem of the over torquing from factory causing these bolts to break. It's actually a gasket failure, not a bolt failure. So thank you guys for watching. It's a quick little video of a pretty common problem in these cars. I know it's very, talked about on the forums and online and everything. Not as big and scary as it used to be. Something we can take care of, like I said, in like a day. So no big deal. If you have any questions about this issue, please feel free to comment. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.